Hello everyone, welcome to the Electrical Engineering Bootcamp. In this episode, we're going to start off with um, looking at a very basic principle in how we relate electricity with water in the electricity and water analogy. When we first explain um, electrical current to people that are not um, uh, familiar with the concept, we would often relate this with the flow of water. So now imagine that to flow water through a pipe, one must have pressure. And in the electrical world, it's the same. You need voltage for current to flow through a conductor. Now for water, the rate of flow would be determined by the amount of pressure and the diameter of pipe it flows through. That is, the larger the diameter of the pipe, the lower pressure it needs to maintain the same flow. In turn, when higher pressures are used, pipe walls have to be thicker to withstand the increase in pressure. If you look at the flow of electric currents, it is very similar, where the larger the diameter of the conductor, the lower voltage it needs to maintain the same current. The conductor's current capacity, in turn, is limited to the ampacity allowed by the conductor, which is a measurement of the amount of current flow. And of course, um, the higher the pressure or the higher the voltage in the sense, um, the higher the insulation level of the wire it is needed. So that actually relates to similarly the thickness of your water pipe. I hope you really enjoyed this um, very short uh, but informative explanation of the first introduction to electrical current. I hope you enjoy um, this episode uh, in the Electrical Engineering Bootcamp. And if you wish to connect with me, um, I would be more than happy to show you more in the electrical engineering world. Um, for the latest news in the world of electrical engineering, please, please connect me with me through Twitter, which my handle is at EE Bootcamp. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel to get the latest free training videos for you to have um, uh, more knowledge about electrical engineering and the various industries that are in the electrical engineering world. Lastly, if you wish to connect with me on LinkedIn, please send me a link of your profile to eebootcamp at yahoo.com. And after I receive um, the link to your profile, I will send you a personal invite to connect in LinkedIn. Again, thank you for your time. Have a good one. Bye for now.